Ladies and gentlemen, our first contest of the evening is an amateur catch weight bout at 65 kilograms and will take place over three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has an amateur record of one win, one defeat. He represents Golden Axe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Arturo Mopsesian! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist represents Northwest Fight Academy and has an amateur record of one win, no defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the red corner, Alex Mon! Our referee, Mr. Nico Joka. First bout of the night here at UKFC in Preston. Alex Mon versus Arturo Movesenian. Movesenian in the black, trimmed with blue. And I think that might be the theme for the night, Steve, with a pitbull sponsor. Mon in the black, trim with red. Absolutely, we saw Mon come out last time. A very good win in his debut. But Arturo Movesenian straight away not here to make up the numbers. In tight on that clinch, trying to force Mon up against the cage and lower his level. Absolutely, and what I really liked about that is he uh, did it behind his punches. He didn't just drive in. He made uh, Mon react to the punches, big shots, and then he got his win. But I'm impressed with Mon's defense at the moment, creating frames on the inside, doing well to stay on his feet, great balance. Absolutely, the underhooks help there a lot. Yeah, the underhook and the, the frame across his face initially kept uh, Movesenian away from him, being able to pull him in tight to the clinch, and the underhook uh, helped him to keep a little bit more upright. Movesenian there, little knee up the middle. And you think that was exactly what Mon was working for? Yeah, he's obviously uh, done his research on the fence. Great takedown defense, did well to stay on his feet. He's back out in the open now where he has got significant uh, height and reach advantage by the look of things, but Ovsenian, uh, you know, he's looking pretty sharp. He landed nice hands early, throwing the kicks now too. That's no such thing as one-trick ponies anymore, even in the amateur ranks. They're, they're, they're a bit good at everything. Yeah, absolutely, and he tries to time his double leg underneath the punches. Oh, he's gone underneath the hips. I can't see if the hands are clasped. But... Oh, yeah, hands are just a bit high, and that's what allowed Maul to get on top, and he's gone straight to mount. Quarter guard from Ovsenian. Again, I love the I love the fact straight away Mavsezian didn't hasn't capitulated here. It's a bad position, but he's doing doing everything to get out of it. Yeah, and it's, you know, an inch at a time. You can see how he's working that quarter guard position. He'll try and work his way back safely into like half guard. If he, he knows if he keeps turning the other way, he'll give his back. So that's why he's not carrying on turning onto his right side. As I say, that eats a couple of punches, then starts turning the opposite way. It's nice, patient work from Maul, but Movsesian does have his half guard back now, at least. Lots of pressure coming from Alex Maul at the moment, trying to s slice through that half guard. Yeah, trying to try put up and get that knee through, but he's uh, cage is hampering him going that way. He could try and come to this uh, to the near side, to the right side of uh, Movsesian. So I'm trying to crucifix that arm, trap that arm under the knee, but Movsesian gets it back and yeah, he's got a grip on the head, which he, he's not going to get guillotine from there, but it's causing Mon some problems, slowing him down. And uh, with a 10-second clapper, Mon looking to land a few shots before the round ends. Yeah, good round from the Northwest Fight Academy prospect there. <laughs> Fortunate to have stand up in that top position, but it, once he was there, it, it did everything right. Massagian. Yeah, well, he... Defending well. What I did is he knew when his opponent tried to get under his hips that if he could get the, uh, the lock higher rather than being like uh, under his hips, underneath his ass cheeks, so he has that purchase. If they're higher, he's more likely to fall backwards and they wouldn't be able to take him down. So it was a savvy bit of work and good balance to land on top and did the work when he was there. Well, says he clearly is uh, good on the ground, showed good. Um, it didn't, it never allowed Morn to really solidify a mount position. It was always working quarter guard, got back to half guard. So he's savvy, but just couldn't find the escape. He came out, the, the start of the round, he came out immediately close to distance, distance, went to the clinch. 
during the sort of the middle parts of the round, he showed that he was happy to stand. Do you expect him to? Do you expect him to continue to mix it up? Or are you going to look for him to get in close and get top position? Yeah, I think that was probably the best success he had at the, at the start of the round. The opening sort of 30 seconds, you know, came in throwing heavy bombs, and that allowed him to get like the best clinch position that he had in the round because he was forcing Morn's hands high to think about more than defending the uh, the body lock. Oh. Come on, look in here, and you can see he's trying to make the most of his uh, long one two there. Well, Sezian's punches are a little bit wider, you know, when you're the shorter man and throwing loop punches as well, he is going to struggle to find his mark there. Probably why he's been throwing more of the kicks, but really nice, sharp, darting right, uh, darting right hand from on. Well, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? And if your straight line is just a little bit short. <laughs> some way out for that double, gets under the hips this time, looks good, but a nice hip turn and whizzer from Morn, and you see what he did again, you know, he, he got the grip from underneath his butt to up onto the body lock, which uh, allowed him to stay on his feet a lot easier. We'll take down defence on display from Alex Morn at the moment. Yeah, he's clearly well drilled in that respect. And then goes back to holding the centre of the cage. Yeah, I mean, well, Sezian at no point has stopped trying to make something happen. See there, lunging underneath, but sort of lunged at just at the wrong time. Oh, big punches coming from Morn, hammer fist. But Sezian uh, still trying to get a hold of his opponent, get a grip, stop this barrage of shots, but... Yeah, hammer fist him back as well. Did just enough, just there with that knee shield and then trying to underhook the leg. I wouldn't have gone for an underhook of the leg when I'm getting hammer fisted in the head. I'd be trying to frame him away, but I understand what he's trying to work. He's trying to get underneath his man and potentially tap the leg locks, but yeah, eating a lot of shots there. He's trying to like hammer fist back from the bottom, but it's not no, right. And referee Nico Joker has seen enough. And we have the TKO victory in round two for the Northwest Fight Academies. Alex, Mon. Yeah, he just relentless. rose into this fight. Absolutely, grew into it, uh, and he showed he was very competent in every range. Managed to get the finish, relentless ground and pound. As soon as he took top position, looked really strong. Didn't yep. want to let get out of the second. Very good performance for Alex Mon, who now moves to two and oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes in two minutes of round two. Your winner by TKO, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Mon. And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the opponent.